Have you ever wondered how are our prayers perceived in heaven? Do the souls of the deceased know that we are praying? In this video, we present you a mystical experience Padre Pio had about the power of the prayer, Hail Mary. Welcome to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio about the Capuchin monk, mystic and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos three times a week on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member or a friend. On one occasion, Father Alessio asked Padre Pio, why are you always praying the rosary and no other prayer? Of course, Padre Pio prayed other prayers as well. But how this question was formulated shows how dedicated Padre Pio was to the particular prayer of the rosary. This is what Padre Pio answered. Because Our Lady has never refused me any grace that I have petitioned by praying the rosary. Padre Pio also considered the rosary a powerful weapon of defense against evil. So we know, at least to some extent, what effect the rosary has here on earth and on us who pray the rosary. But have any of us thought about what kind of effect praying the rosary has in heaven? Well, Padre Pio gave a testimony, an insight into the powerful effect in heaven when a Hail Mary is prayed here on earth. This testimony is from Father Marcelino's book Padre Pio Parla della Madonna, Padre Pio Speaks of the Madonna. To make people understand the power of a Hail Mary, Padre Pio once told about a dream he had. Once I had this dream. It seemed to me that I was outside. It was a starry night and I was gazing at the sky when suddenly the sky opened up and a luminous ladder descended from the highest heavens to touch the earth, while a fellow friar, very devoted to Our Lady, descended towards me. He had died a short time ago, and seeing him so soon, I asked, but how? In life you always wish to reach heaven to be able to contemplate the beauty of the celestial Madonna, and now that you have achieved it, you come back among us? The fellow friar replied, every Hail Mary that leaves the earth and rises to heaven makes all of paradise cheerfully glow, celebrating the Mother of God. The deceased friar then continues, I came to you so that we could recite together the greeting to Mary and let you share a little in the joy of the angels and the saints. This must have been a wonderful experience for Padre Pio, experiencing this grace of insight into the effect a Hail Mary has on heaven. I don't know about you, but I am instantly inspired to pray the Hail Mary. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Father Marcelino emphasizes that when Padre Pio was speaking about his dreams, he was usually hinting towards a true vision that he had. Padre Pio shared this experience to let us know that our prayers are indeed heard in heaven. In addition to this testimony from Padre Pio, it is worth mentioning that Our Lady had revealed to several people that each time they say a Hail Mary that they are giving her a beautiful rose and that each complete rosary makes her a crown of roses. The well-known Jesuit, Brother Alphonsus Rodriguez, used to say his rosary with such fervor that he often saw a red rose come out of his mouth at each Our Father and a white rose at each Hail Mary. The red and white roses were equal in beauty and fragrance, the only difference being their color. The Chronicles of St. Francis tell us of a young friar who had the praiseworthy habit of saying the crown of Our Lady, the Rosary, every day before dinner. One day, for some reason or other, he did not manage to say it. The refractory bell had already been rung when he asked the superior to allow him to say it before coming to the table and having obtained the permission, he withdrew to his cell. After he had been gone for a long time, the superior sent another friar to fetch him, and he found him in his room, bathed in a heavenly light facing Our Lady, who had two angels with her. Beautiful roses kept issuing from his mouth at each Hail Mary, 
and the angels took them one by one, placing them on the head of Our Lady, and she smilingly accepted them. Finally, two other friars who had been sent to find out what happened to the first two saw the same lovely scene. Our Lady did not go away until the whole rosary had been said. So the complete rosary, which consists of saying 15 decades of the Hail Mary, is a large crown of roses and the rosary of five decades is a little wreath of flowers or a small crown of heavenly roses which we place on the heads of Jesus and Mary. The rose is the queen of all flowers, so the rosary is the rose of all devotions and is therefore the most important one. If this does not inspire us to pray the rosary or at least one Hail Mary, I don't know what will. We are literally lighting up heaven in celebration with our prayers. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe, click the reminder bell and share with your friends to help promote our channel. But the best way to get involved in our Padre Pio apostolate is to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. Just click the link in the description below. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the members of our Protected Children of Padre Pio program for your financial help and support. You are the ones who are making these videos possible for everyone. May Our Lady and Padre Pio reward you abundantly. If you're not yet a member of the special program but you would like to be, then just click the link in the description to find out more. Check out the videos on the end screen and stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.